So now let's transition that to those, some of those lessons as you start to get to the reframe idea. Talk us through how you started to come up with uh, the reframe idea. Um, so like, you know, we always had this crazy idea as like, you know, as a kid growing up, I've always loved superheroes. That was like, uh, especially the ones without superpowers. And so we wanted to build something that helps people achieve peak human condition. By the way, a comic uh, book concept, essentially like, you know, the best version of yourself mentally, physically. But we realized that, you know, that's probably not the best place to get started. We needed to solve a real problem. Um, and I personally suffer from OCD. So we thought that would be like a good place to start, right? Like to help people like solve compulsions. Um, as it turns out, like uh, in hindsight, it was not a great place to start to kind of jump towards peak human condition. And second, like uh, OCD is like really tricky, even amongst difficult problems because it changes form, right? Like it changes forms all the time. Like one day it could be like lead in the wall, the next day it could be the doorknob. So it's really hard to gauge progress. Um, but what we did see was, you know, with a lot of people that had OCD, they used alcohol kind of as a way to, to self-medicate. Um, and that was like, that to us like represented a really good, like, you know, problem to solve because it was, the majority was really underserved, right? You had these recovery centers that were like incredibly expensive, Alcoholics Anonymous and 12-step programs, very stigmatic, nothing really in the middle for more than the 90% of people that are just looking to cut back essentially. And that was why uh, we kind of, of course, we didn't know all of that while going in, mm -hmm. but that was why we kind of pivoted into the space. Um, and yeah. 